breaking news. The uh, Phoenix Suns, we asked, and we got an answer. They've got their new head coach. Various reports, Woj, Shams Tarania out there. Frank Vogel finalizing a deal to be the new head coach of the Phoenix Suns. That according to both of those reports. Color me a bit surprised here, Yeah, a little Vic. bit too. Yeah, you and me both. It's not ex- this is this was the last candidate out of the three that I thought was going to get into the winner's circle here. It was that's... also the last candidate added to the mix, was it not? Yeah, yeah. And, and a candidate who wasn't on all of the lists. And so for Adrian Wojnarowski to report this is, a, is, this is about to be a done deal, it happens right after Doc Rivers officially withdrew his name from consideration. Like seconds. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, they didn't pass me up. I wasn't a candidate when they hired him. So Frank, you're Vo- fine. I quit. I quit. Right, I, quit. I, quit. <laughs> I quit. So Frank Vogel, uh, interesting guy because it, a, as is the case with anybody who coaches LeBron James, you, you don't know how difficult of a job that actually is until you do it. So Frank Vogel led the Lakers to a, a bubble championship. Frank Vogel has got a uh, he's got a, an ability at least it, it, I think I've got this right. He's got a reputation for being really good at in series adjustments as well and I think he distinguished himself during that bubble run um, along those lines. Not Ty Lu good, but he's done it. And I think that ultimately this has to be a situation where where Matt Ishbia was looking for some real experience, right? Yeah, Frank Vogel does have that. You know, 11 years of head coaching experience in the league with Indiana, two years in Orlando that were pretty lean, and then he lands with the Lakers in 2019-2020, which turned out to be the bubble year. 52-19 and 19 that year, they go on to win the, the NBA championship in the Orlando bubble, losing just uh, five times along the way, and then two pretty mediocre years after that, the Lakers going out in the first round the year after, uh, missing the playoffs in his final year. And I think you hit on a very interesting point because Frank Vogel is getting another opportunity now to take over a a job in Phoenix that has two superstar players in place. Mm -hmm. He had some success with that very early on uh, under weird circumstances in the bubble in his first year with the Lakers. Uh, Maybe that was the the selling point to to the Suns brass. Mm. I wonder, there was so much widespread reporting, and we'll go back to what Bill Simmons said on a number of occasions, it's going to be Kevin Young. And I think that was the overall feeling. I wonder what happened there. So do I. So do I. I, I, There there might be some interesting developments that get reported on on that negotiation and that pursuit. Yeah. Well, well, speculate for me. Tell me what you're thinking. Do you think this might have been loyalty to Monty? Do you think – see, the thing that I'm looking at here is, like you said, Bill Simmons declaratively saying this was the guy twice, right? And then the Devin Booker endorsements of it all. Um, was Devin Booker not contacted? Did w- Was Devin Booker's support of Kevin Young overstated? Was it just a quote? Uh, we had we had people on this show, Jake Fisher, Shams, tell us specifically that Booker liked Kevin Young supporting mm-hmm. him. So it wasn't just like, you know, um, people speculating. Yeah, well, and but again, but where did they get that from? Has anyone talked to Devin Booker recently about Kevin Young? I don't, has anybody talked I, to Devin Booker recently about Frank Vogel? Well, I, that's, I, have, that's the aha. You have to assume that this deal was not made, this agreement was not struck between the Suns and Frank Vogel without going and getting the opinions of the superstars. And they might not be in the country, but I'm pretty sure their phones still work. Yeah, I would really, yes, I, I would have to assume that that was the case. Otherwise, it, it's you're really you're going down a, a, a difficult path here. So I am surprised too. Frank Vogel's a good coach. It's not like they. It's not like they got a guy that's a scrub. He's got a good defensive reputation. He's he's a good tactical mind. Um, the, the his what reign, went wrong with the Lakers? It, it's LeBron. It's it's egos. Injuries. It's injuries. It's all that stuff. It's you know, eventually you know, you can't coach LeBron. That's the interesting thing about LeBron's career. He he's had success. There's no denying it. Wherever he's gone. But who's the one coach that you would tie him to in terms of success? Spolstra, Spolstra? maybe the most. And he wanted him fired, too. (laughs) And Spolstra's gone on in the aftermath of LeBron leaving Miami to become one of the best coaches in the NBA. Right, right. I mean, they won a title in Cleveland with Ty Lue. He's gone elsewhere. 
He's played for a bunch of them. So this is, uh, yeah, this is interesting, and I, I and I wonder, yeah, I, I I can't wait to hear more and more details as they come out on this. Gambo says way. it's it's Kevin Young. It seems like it's Kevin Young's choice to stay or stay not. To stay yeah. or stay not. <laughs> stay not. It seems like it's his choice, from what I heard. But example. but again, I if you're Frank Vogel and you have no relationship of course, with Kevin Young, yeah, why you would you do own- that? Unless Why would you do that? Unless it totally is like this is Devin Booker's guy. Like sort of like you bring in like but, a, a quarterback's coach to work with specific specific quarterback even but though. But then again, as a head coach, why would you do that? Why would you keep a guy who was popular with the team's best player? Like we went That's th- a risk to your... Uh, uh, we went through this. Hey, yeah, could, I don't get it. Don't we went through it. this with could Vance Joseph stay on as defensive coordinator. It never really seemed realistic even though people were talking about it. Yeah. We've got money. Have you seen this, Vince? I have. Uh, Shams putting out there that the uh, Suns and Frank Vogel are finalizing a five-year deal worth thirty-one million dollars. So just over six million wow. a year. Wow, less, less than, than half. half of what the Detroit Pistons are paying Monty Williams. Wow, and less than what the Phoenix Suns were paying Monty yeah. Williams. Yeah. Wow. So much for resetting yeah, that what? coaching. <laughs> Eric Spolstra's throwing the phone against the wall right now. What? That. Is that right? Five it is years, right. $31 yeah. million. Dollars yeah, per listen, it, again, Monty Williams hit the lottery. That's why the, the, the reaction to that deal being reported was so over the top. Mm-hmm. We've not seen money like that thrown to an NBA coach no. before. No, and maybe never again. He's going to go down as the Deshaun Watson of quarterbacks. <laughs> Bill Simmons tweeting just now, I'm taking the L. Was Kevin Young for a couple weeks, then Ishbia decided he wanted someone splashier and more experienced and shifted gears. What's interesting is Booker was pushing hard for KY, but Vogel's an excellent coach. Can't wait to find out what happened. Wow. Okay. Can't spell Bill without two L's, so. (laughs) That's a good point. (laughs) And now now he took one of them. All right, so let's assume that what Bill Simmons put out there is, is the truth. Looking for somebody splashier, and certainly more experienced. I, I mean, Frank I Vogel's Frank got a, Vogel splashier. He's got a championship on his resume. He I, does. I think he's Frank, got the bubble championship, though. It's the bubble championship. And, and I haven't researched this, so correct me if I'm wrong. But Frank Vogel now becomes the first man ever to coach the Phoenix Suns that has a championship on his resume. Wow. Is that right? I don't know. Seems right. So the thing is, Suns fans love to discount that bubble championship. Oh, it doesn't count. Are we yeah. going to count it now? Now that the guy who led them to that, I've been owns very, that ring? I've been incredibly consistent that on funny. that front. And I, you know, my feelings on the Los Angeles Lakers. I didn't discount that. They played under the same the same conditions as everybody else. Right. Mm-hmm. That counted. They had to overcome the same things that yeah. every other team did. It's it's not that. It's not the conditions that people give it the asterisk. It's the three months off. Every other team. Everybody had three months. I know off. that, but but I know that. But in a team like the Lakers, and a in a guy like LeBron, that, that it looks like an advantage you wouldn't get anywhere else. No, I know what you're saying, and and, I, and I'm not I'm not arguing that position. I thought there was a possibility we'd be talking about the Phoenix Suns hiring a head coach before the end of today's show. I thought it was a slim possibility. I did not think it was going to be Frank Vogel. Yeah. i got to be completely honest well, with you and there. Yes, and so I, I think it's. I also think it's real interesting to me that if if Kevin Young was the leader, what, what made Matt Ishbia pivot away? I mean, if you're believing Bill Simmons... It's about splash again. Splash and experience... The experience thing I'll buy, but I I don't splash think splash experience. That's yeah. hard to say. Splash experience <laughs> sounds like a water park. Sea World. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll have more on this. Uh, the news is out there. The Suns have their new head coach, and surprise, surprise, it's Frank Vogel. We'll have more.